How's it going everybody? John Berrien here with the Ohio State Bar Association and today I'm on the campus of Ohio State University at the Michael E. Moritz College of Law to shine a spotlight on law student Priya Santi. So Priya, thank you so much for taking a second out of your busy schedule and allowing us to shine the spotlight on you. Sure, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Of course, this is a beautiful campus here at OSU. Yes, it is. I just graduated from here last month. Yeah, I was just about to touch on that actually. You just read my mind. You just graduated from the OSU Law School. What was it? Can you tell us a little bit about your background in going to OSU Law? Sure, yeah. So I didn't always know that I was going to be a lawyer. I was a teacher after I did my undergraduate degree. I was in the Teach for America program and I worked in a really low income community in Memphis, Tennessee and just seeing sort of the poverty and the situations my students were going through, just trying to get an education really inspired me to sort of take the next steps and help them out on a broader level. That's crazy that you first initially got some real world experience, became a teacher, and then discovered that you could probably make a bigger impact by uh, becoming a lawyer. Yeah. What is, um, you're preparing for the bar now. Yes, I am. What have you done to prepare for the bar? So I am doing a commercial bar prep companies program and it's a two month program and every day they have you watch videos and take notes, review your outlines, do flashcards, and it kind of helps you solidify the basis of knowledge you got in your first and second years of law school. And that will sort of build the foundation that you need to take the practical analysis exam, um, applying that knowledge in essays and multiple choice questions. So that's how I'm preparing right now for the end of July. Wow. that's. That sounds like a lot of work, but it sounds like you have your hands full, but you're getting it done, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting through it the best that I can. Now, I was told that you have some big aspirations here, that after you pass the bar, because you're passing the bar, you're going to do it, <laughs> I right? I so. Oh, please, you got this taken care of, I know it. After you pass the bar, you're going to be, you eventually want to run for the Columbus Board of Education? Yes, yeah, I'll be running for the Columbus Board of Education in 2016. Wow, that's amazing. And then after that, I heard that you also have even bigger goals. Uh, you know, far off, you want to be a senator. Yeah, so Ohio has never had a female senator, actually. Um, so I would definitely be interested in seeking federal office at that level. I'm kind of starting at the municipal level and will hopefully work my way up state through federal. Very, very cool. Some lofty yeah. goals there, but the yeah. sky is the limit. I love it. You're very ambitious. Yeah. A goal. Really want to help my students. So got to be at the highest level that I can to make sure that I see the changes that need to happen for them. Everybody take note, all you law students <laughs> out there. Priya, thank you so much for allowing us to shine a spotlight on thank you. Thank you, John. I appreciate the opportunity. And taking a second out of your busy schedule. Very, very, very much appreciated. No problem. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. When you run for the Columbus Board of Education and for when you run for senator. Thank you. Yes, Hi, I'm Priya Santi, and you're watching Law Student Spotlight.